RHS Precalculus presents Double Angle Identities 101. Why so sad, Danny Pibb? I don't understand double angle identities. But I taught this all week. I know, but I have a hard time paying attention. Could you please help me? I suppose I can this one time. But next time, you really need to listen to what I say. Thank you, Dr. Pepper. So, Danny, first we need to remember the sum formulas, which are... In order to derive the double angle identities, we must use these sum formulas and the Pythagorean identities. First, begin with the sum formulas. We will start by deriving the cosine double angle identity. Replace the y in the equation with an x, as cosine 2x is equal to cosine x plus x. This gives us cosine 2x equals cosine x cosine x minus sine x sine x. This can be simplified to cosine 2x equals cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Now we use the Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. This can be rearranged as sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x or cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. These equivalent values can be placed in the equation we have for the double angle identity so far. For now, we will replace cosine squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. We then have cosine 2x equals 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. This can be simplified as cosine 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x. The other option would be to replace sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x from our rearranged Pythagorean identity, giving us cosine 2x equals cosine squared x minus 1 minus cosine squared x, which can be simplified as cosine 2x equals 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Deriving the other double angle identities is much simpler. The same concept applies replacing the y with an x in the corresponding sum formula. Let's try sine. When we replace y with x, we get sine x plus x equals sine x cosine x plus cosine x sine x. This can be simplified as sine of 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. Now with tangent. This can get a little confusing. We know tangent x equals sine of x over cosine of x. Therefore, tangent of x plus x equals sine x cosine x plus cosine x sine x all over cosine x cosine x minus sine x sine x. Now, if you divide each part of this equation by cosine x cosine x, you will get tangent x plus tangent x over 1 minus tangent x tangent x, which is simplified to tangent 2x over 1 minus tangent x squared. And that's how you find the double angle identities. Wow, that's really easy. I just should have listened. My bad.